do some balance exercises. So, a little bit of one foot stuff and also some dynamic movement. So, this is kind of an, not an easier workout, but more mellow. So, we're going to focus on a lot of isometric movements where we're just holding a posture, trying to balance there, or doing things like dynamic balance, for example, bringing the leg from here, maybe to over there. So, it's really good uh, program that you can add in throughout the week with the videos that I have already put out. So, let's get started. First, balance on one foot. Might as well start there. Roll the ankle. So, for this one, we're going to do three different circuits or supersets. And each of them we might have to do four times. But we're going to get each leg at least twice or each side at least twice. There's a lot of them for sides. I'm going to be one-sided, so... You gotta do them a couple times in a row. Roll the ankle, maybe up and down. And we've all got to work on balance. So some of these, if you have a Bosu ball at home, use one of those. Might even make it a little more challenging. Now we're gonna start at the head. We're gonna stretch out a little bit more today. So drop the head over to the right, and then all the way down to the front. Other side, back. And let's do a few of those. We want to get somewhat flexible before we start to balance. Now we're going to go the other direction, same exact thing. I'm going over to my left, down forward to the front, to the right, to the back. One more. Or back and forth is good. Either way, now we're going to go forward and then back. Good. A couple more. And then we're going to go to the side. Reach the arms up overhead. Stretch as far as you can down. And just reach and then pull right back up. And bring the hands down. Smacking each other. Bringing the arm over. All the way to the other side. Sleepy? A little bit though. Uh -oh. Stretching so you can feel sleepy. Well, we're going to stretch first. Okay. And then we'll do a little more. Especially because we're doing a lot of balance. So if you're tight and stiff, especially with some of these with the legs going forward and to the side, your hip flexors are really going to feel it. So let's get those guys some wide legs out, squatting down, go even wider. And we're just going to go back and forth. Might put the hands on the ground. Feel the stretch on the adductors a little bit. Maybe even hold it. Guys, nice work. We need to 
going to get the wrist a little bit, and we're going to get started. So first one, we're going to start in a plank position. So a lot of the times I've shown you planks with uh, one arm up, one leg up. Now we're going to try both at the same time. So we can do it as a regressed version as well. So she's going to demo that one. I got you on the harder one. So with this, we're going to go pretty wide. So hands wide, legs wide. And what we're going to do is shift over, almost like we're going into a side plank. But I'm not going to go all the way shifted. I'm actually going to try to stay in a plank position almost. So just bringing the leg and arm up and just holding it. Let me stay on my and then, bam, she's got you on the regret. So, same thing, try and just get no, one side. Why does it feel harder? Build up the side. Right, it's a little easier on your knees. Yeah, it's definitely easier. If you want to plant your toe, so, plant the foot into the ground a lot. Really like drive the foot. Now, either way, whatever, whichever way you get more pressure into the ground. It's going to give me more stability. Bam, there you go. Good. Good. So that's the first one. We're going to go through and do both sides. So when we start, it'll be one, two, and then the next exercise. So the next exercise, same thing, except we're going to be standing up. And we're going to do a one foot balance, so with the knee to the front. And we're going to try to bring this leg all the way back behind us. And then kick it out. Don't shift the hip out too much. Try to keep that hip down. And then coming up. So we want to do that, we can make it easier. She's going to do a little easier version by just tapping her foot down in the middle. So you might just shift the leg back, tap the foot down, shift and balance, tap the foot down, yeah. Yeah, you can come all the way up. Good, good. And it might, it might not even be that far, it might just be to right there, and then you can come back up, because you might not be able to get all the way down. Or we're going to even go one step further, bring those arms all the way over and then coming up. So again, we're going to do both sides before the next one. And last thing, we're doing chair pose. So all the way down, arms up overhead, and just holding tight here. Challenge yourself. Maybe one tuck, one heel goes up. And that's it. All right, ready guys? Three, two, and one. So we're going through all those. We've got a few times. So we'll get a rest. Let's get a couple of them out of the way. Ready. Three, Two, and you're in. I go loud. <laughs> so plank one side. I'm gonna try the harder version. You're only here for a 30 second period. So deep breath. Really push the ground away. Squeeze the stomach. Side plank. And down. 
to it. So first thing, plank, one side. Okay. Remember, we're getting both. Not too intense, but definitely a lot on the balance. I also like to pick up one limb first. So if you're trying to balance on a plank, I would go leg up, maybe fingertips, and then pick my hand up. Okay. And just hold tight, deep breath. Try to keep the shoulder away from the neck or the ears.
equally with the body going forward. So however much you bring the leg up, body should be following forward. Whew. Deep breath. Shake it out. Nice work. Last one on these. Feel it in my calf down low, my Achilles area. Show the balance, get the little muscle in your feet, all those metatarsals, tiny foot muscles, bones, and all muscles. Almost there, deep breath. Kick the heels back. Little tendons and ligaments. Tendons and ligaments. So you get a little better, especially with this balance stuff. You can do this for a 
life. Uh, just as part of your balance routine. Okay, ready guys? Here we go. Three, two. You're in. Number one. I'll go my way to head on. Please 
right up. Should happen naturally. Maybe try to straighten one leg out. Maybe don't. Hip flexor are feeling tight. Might have the hands down too, guys. Deep breath. Lean as far back as you can. Maybe make it harder right at the end. Holding everything tight. Legs are straight. Really shift over to the side 
and lean into it more. And then we're going to do both sides and go straight into ice skaters, which we're going to turn more into another balance exercise. So we're trying to shift over and then balance and hold here rather than going straight into the other one. So a lot of the times we want to go quick. This one I want you to try to take a big leap and then just catch yourself and balance. Another big leap, catch yourself and then balance. Just like a little leap. Yep. So then the other one, make it a little easier, tiny little leap, right? You might just be stepping. Just here, step over. The big thing is to feel like you fully drop balance. Yep. Step. You stuck the landing. Stuck the landing. And then held it for a second. All you right. Just walk out of it. <laughs> yeah, don't just go back and forth too quick. Ready, guys? Last round. This is balance and stability. Three, two. And you're in. I don't want to kick you, so I'll come up here. Don't want to get the kick. Your brutal karate kicks. They're pretty brutal. Oh, oh. This one's pretty tough if you try to go quick with it and try to stay balanced. Don't let the foot go down. A lot on the hip flexors. Especially if you keep your leg really active and your foot flexes all the time. That's tough. I'm a good one. Go a little. Remember, you don't go so quick. Find a spot on the ground and hold that. Yep, find a spot. Don't watch somebody else kicking. And make sure you don't kick someone. <laughs> We're close. Deep breath. Whoa. Balance, man. You got it. Find that spot on the floor. Kicking straight to the front. Squeezing the toes into the ground. Bam. 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 I act like I'm holding something. Ball energy. <laughs> Hold tight. Good. Fade out. Hold it straight into that next one. I don't need this mat right now. Back and forth. Big leaps. Big as you can. Try to stick that landing. Goal is not to go too quick. Just hold it long enough to know that you can stay another second or two if you want to. There we go. Go on a zigzag. I can do it diagonally. Might go a little harder. Try and go straight side to side. Nice job, guys. Check it out. We got another one for kicks. Balance, but I'm feeling my hip flexors. Here we go. We'll start on my left this time. Nice job, guys. Try to do a quick kick. Best as you can. The standing leg is working a lot, too. Man. Yep. Both legs for sure. The standing leg. A lot of hips, especially when you lean over. Deep breath. Ooh, I'm getting tired. All right, check it out. That's nice work. And the right side, or whatever side you did not get. The other one. Oh, uh, one. Straight to the front. Lean as far as you can to the side. I don't know where you're mad at right now. Maybe you're not mad, a mad person. It's <laughs> good. Oh. But kick it, whatever that is. As hard as you can, kick to the front, kick to the side. Deep breath. Oh, oh man. <laughs> All Same time. Oh my gosh. Nice job. Take okay. it out. And here we go. Number two, ice skaters, side to side, catch. Might even make it harder by trying to catch it with a bent knee a little bit. Have that knee bent. Woo! That was a bad one. Don't do that one. Keep the toe forward as much as you can. Nice job, guys. We're almost there. Deep breath. Touch and hold. And good. Nice job. Check it out. One more. Last time. You can do it. I think I wrote two on the board, but we're going to do three. It's like you like me so much. I don't want to stop. I feel like I could do one more. If someone else is feeling like that, here it is. Might be an expert at them right now. You might be a little better. I feel like I'm better with my balance. I feel like the burning. 
something is better too, as then it hurts more. Deep breath.
you so much. I'll be back with some more of these stability exercises and workouts. I think they're awesome. Uh, a good way to incorporate things into your workout that are just heavy intensity strength training. Uh, I also have some corrective exercise videos that I'm going to start doing. So I'll have some for low back pain, uh, maybe knee pain or knee recovery, things like that, shoulders, yeah. Common uh, ailments or injuries that tend to happen. So I'll have some on that. Upper cross syndrome, which is this. A lot of people have this, so we'll do a whole video on. And you have the pelvic tilt. How to fix this, yeah. Anterior, posterior, pelvic That's tilt. Something. Pronation distortion, we got one of these. Oof. So I'll fix that. I see, I see more people like this. But anyway, we'll have more videos coming soon. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>